Hello everyone, um, Eli here. We're gonna, I found, uh, kinda was playing around and I was wanting to do a bit of a prism effect and came across a really interesting kind of um, effect, I guess. Um, uh, I call it the prism effect because if you remember in the 80s and 90s, there were, if you were around then, there were these trading cards you would collect or, and even in the early 2000s, maybe some still around, but some of them would, uh, some of the special cards would come up, come up, come up with this uh, prism effect, which would look like, in certain light conditions, they would reflect really all the, you know, standard prism rainbow colors effect. Um, so there's a very, very easy way to get this. Um, it, this is the original image. Um, one thing I found is with this particular effect is the um, images that have got bits and pieces of black work really well. This is obviously an illustration, so it has, you know, the black hair and the black outline. So this works really well. Um, and the way to do that is, uh, I'm just gonna delete what, what I was doing there and um, start over. And we'll try that on a number of images, okay? So this is an illustration. Um, you'll see how it works here. Create a new layer that sits above that. Doesn't matter if it's transparent or whatever because you're gonna um, go over it. Use the gradient tool over here. This gradient tool, um, and from the gradient selection, find yourself a um, one that's got the full rainbow colors. And then just go from one end to another like this. Press enter to confirm that. And then the mode of this, change that to um, exclusion. Done. That's it. It's as simple as that. And that looks kind of cool. It's a really cool effect that you can do on a lot of images. You can see I uh, this was a photo that I grabbed and I did the same to this. Just create a new layer and um, so you can see what it what it does there. It, it looks pretty cool. Um, I like it. Um, same with this. You can see I um. Now this has got a lot of black. Um, if you've got too much black, as you can see, um, it's going to um, kind of um, it won't look as good. So there's a trick. If um, there are some options, if you've got too much black in the image that's underneath, you can adjust the amount of black or uh, the, num the amount of dark colors in the histogram. And by that you go to colors, levels, you grab, now I didn't grab the, um, the gradient layer, I grabbed the visible layer underneath. So you can see, let me just change the, okay. You can see the vast majority of the information here in this histograms on the left hand side. So I'm just going to grab the triangles and move them over to the left hand side. Do you see the difference it, it makes? Um, so, you know, you can adjust those if you want. Um, however, try to have, see, this is another illustration and it's got bits and pieces of black going on. So if I was to do the same thing here, if I create a new layer, okay, and then do the same thing with the gradient tool, just like that, and go to exclusion, that looks really, really cool, I actually really like that. The other similar one is difference, um, difference can sometimes look better, it can sometimes look worse, I think in this case it kind of made it a bit more interesting. Um, the other really good one, this was another Photoshop I did a long time ago, but I actually really like how this one turned out. Um, what you can do is, um, let's just do that again. So you can see that because, um, uh, Supergirl was quite dark in that, um, it, it highlights those, those aspects of it. If I, um, let me just play with the um, histogram again, see what we can change about it. Uh, 
Yeah, not much. Um, although there's something really cool you can do. Um, uh, if you grab the golden option instead, and you grab the gradient tool and do the golden, this is um, this is a gold gradient. Again, it's using exclusion because that's what we had last as the overlay. Um, if you change that to divide, divide is kind of the opposite of, uh, it's almost an invert. It does really fascinating things with the blues. Um, and you know you, you can redraw that because the, the divide um, mode is, is there. You can redraw and you can just see how, you know, you can do really fascinating things in an atmospheric perspective. Um, so I really kind of um, like that. Yeah, I, I really think that looks kind of cool. Um, in any case, so it does really interesting things. So that's, that's another one. Again, you can do, this was another Photoshop I did a while back. Um, Australian cities, Sydney, um, Brisbane, Melbourne. But let's, um, let's apply the same effect here. See, that does look kind of cool. I like that. I really do like it. So, uh, and this one is, is another kind of illustration where it's got a lot of um, detail. If you can find an image like this one, it's got a lot of detail to it in the sense of uh, lots of black lines going through it. They look impressive. Now, I haven't actually done this one yet, so I don't know what it's going to look like, but I think it's going to look pretty good. So new layer again, like that. Turn it to make the mode E um, exclusion. That does look cool. Look at that. Uh, difference may, may even make it a bit more. But yeah, look very kind of interesting effect there. Now, if I increase the contrast, yeah, that looks amazing. I really like how that looks. It's Adam and Eve. Um, in case you couldn't figure that one out, there's a snake in the middle. Um, yeah, it just does really interesting things. So, just wanted to share that really cool effect. If I don't, I don't know what um, when you'd want to use that, but hopefully you have a you have some sort of a need for it. But if anything, it's just interesting. Um, just goes to show how versatile these image editors.